try it like it created. And today we are actually going to make a gift tag out of trash. So what I have here is um, actually a Kleenex box. Uh, and I'm going to use this section right here. So the first thing I want to do is cut it down. And so I'm cutting along the fold lines and then I'm going to go a little bit larger than what I intend to use so I can straighten it out. All right. So I will bring in my little paper trimmer here and we'll just start with one edge and use that as our straight guide. So I'm going to line up here using a fold line and cut that edge off. Okay, and so now I can go in and cut what's needed for my tag. Love this pattern. All right, so there is that. And then we need to cut the edges to make it a tag. So what I do is I just bring in an old tag and use that as my guide to cut. And then I flip over just in case my corners aren't perfect. I use the same angle for both sides, like that. And then I'll bring in a paper punch and punch into it like that. All right. So there we have that ready to go. And then I forgot to bring in my ink. But what I wanted to do was ink up around the edges in blue. So let me grab my ink and I'll be right back. All right, so um, this is a royal blue. And I'm just gonna go right along that edge, even letting some of it get on the front. does add to it. And then what I was going to do, um, I need to get this paper back and out of here because what I have here is a torn piece that I want to like kind of decoupage on there. Maybe even crinkle it up a bit like so. Um, and what this is, is trash also. <laughs> it's from um, when you take the layers of a napkin apart, this is the white piece. And I think, I think what I have here is just one layer, but let me double check. Yeah, I think I have just one layer of tissue here. So I have mixed up some white glue or Mod Podge with water. It's pretty um, thin. And then I mixed it in a container that kind of had a little bit of pink paint still at the bottom, so we're going to have a little bit of a pink cast to what we're doing here. But I'm going to put my tissue onto that wet area and then come back on top of it with more to hold it in place. Alright, and then we can dab off the excess. And then I'm going to bring a heat tool in and dry this um, before we go any further. All right, and then it's still damp, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to tear my tear along that line or just cut. Let's cut. There we go. Hold any excess to the back. 
All right. And then I have a piece of linea foil that I had in my stash that was a gold number one. And it, it related to the gold kind of print down there. So I was just going to add that on. And with that, I'm just going to come in with... Actually, instead of wet glue, I'm just going to use my glue stick. So, I'll just add that to the back. Add that to the front of our tag. Like that. And that is it for this week's tag trash <laughs> but so just to show you you don't have to have special crafting materials I used a tissue box and um, scraps from a napkin um, to decorate with so there you have it you know there are times like this I just can't leave well enough alone and I'm just gonna add another layer of my tissue trash on top of here and it might be too much, it might just work, but we can see through, and so I didn't put any down underneath it. I just put on top, I'm just going to fold that to the back. And hopefully when dry, it's going to be see-through enough for that one to show up. So again, heat tool. Alright, so I've added that on and dried it. And now I'm taking my blue ink and going back over the edge that had the tissue, just so it matches up with the rest maybe even lightly what happens if I go lightly over this tissue here give it some crinkle definition liken it real subtle not not heavy-handed at all all right and then I'm going to use an arrow stamp and we're just gonna Go right in this area here. Not really sure yet what angle. How about that? And there. I like it. You can add a little more down here. Really a little bit. So there, I'm liking the addition. Uh, let me know what you think. If I went too far, if I should have just left it at the one. Um, I think it's really unique. And I don't know, would anybody know that we use trash to create this? I'm really liking it. And I love the patterns that we get on tissue boxes. So I'm happy to be able to find a use for it. I was thinking book binding. I think a cover for a, a journal or a notebook, but I'm liking it on this tag.